everybody welcome back to the channel this is the one and only living in grand junction colorado so if you're a writer or a novelist i guess the pinnacle of your career at least a highlight anyway is making the new york times bestseller list today is super fun one for you grand junction kind of just did the same thing we're going to tell you all about it right after this so stay tuned What is going on everybody? I'm Robert Hayes and along with my wife Christy and the rest of the team, we are the Hayes Home Group right here in gorgeous Grand Junction, Colorado. Hey, if you are brand spanking new to the channel and you just want to know everything about what it's like to work, live, play, eat, sleep and these gorgeous surroundings here in Grand Junction, make sure that you hit subscribe, tap the bell over there so you're notified every single time we post new video. We're getting reach outs every day from all over the world from people looking to move out here. Just got a reach out from the North Pole yesterday and as far as I could tell they weren't wearing a big red suit or anything. I say name, you say Scott Calvin. Name? Chris Kringle. Reach out any way that you know how. Give us a phone call, shoot us a text, send us an email, even send the carrier pigeon. We've got your back days, nights, weekends when heading out here to Grand Junction. So the New York Times every year does a top 52 places in the world to go check out. Not in the country, in the world. Well, guess who just made that list? Yep, little old Grand Junction, Colorado came in at number 46 right after Madrid, Spain. If you can believe that, well, I can believe it because I've been here for 20 years. But I mean, really, this is kind of why it made the list, I'm pretty sure. So each year they actually have different reasonings and I guess uh, uh, the list is formatted differently. This year the list was about unique food culture natural beauty and then outdoor lifestyle those were the criteria and again this is exactly the reason why so let's start with natural beauty this is independence monument right here and these lookout spots go all throughout this 22 mile stretch it goes east west through the valley that's the Grand Mesa off there to the east, but you can start either, either end on the east end or at the west end. This Independence Monument is more towards the west end. You got a little visitor center right over here as well, which is pretty fun for the kiddos. They got little buttons you can push and whatnot. So every 4th of July, climbers go up on top of Independence Monument. I'm certainly not included in that group and they'll pop an American flag up right at the top. Super cool to watch. They do it every single 4th of July. So as far as the natural surroundings and the beauty, I mean, again, it's all around. You got the book cliffs off to the north. You can see some snow cover on there right now. The Colorado National Monument, obviously, that's certainly in the mix. Grand Mesa, world's largest flat top mountain right over there. It's about 10,000 feet. So, I mean, just the, the beauty is all around here in Grand Junction. We actually did a video on this 22 mile road that starts again, either way, west end or east end. And, you know, there's no guardrails, but people sometimes freak out. Oh, I can't, we went up halfway and we turned around and went back down. It's really, it's not a big deal. It's a nothing burger. It, the speed limit's like 15, 20 miles an hour. So no big deal at all. So what about outdoor activity, lifestyle? Well, you got hiking all throughout the Colorado National Monument right here. You've got Mount Garfield. You can kind of see it off to the north in the background there. You can hike to the top of that sucker. I haven't tried it yet. It's pretty advanced, but I know some folks that have. Again, you got the Grand Mesa, over 300 lakes up on top of the Grand Mesa. Got all kinds of wildlife. The Autobahn Society uh, is active here in Grand Junction down at Connected Lakes in the Redlands. We've had clients see bald eagles up through there, uh, even out at uh, Highline Lake towards the west end of the valley, uh, kind of the Fruit of Loma area, all kinds of uh, wildlife, birds, you name it, out there on the west end as well. And then of course you got, uh, I think we're talking 
talking about outdoor activity, right? <laughs> Powderhorn Ski Resort is at the base of the Grand Mesa, essentially. It's 40 minutes, real easy, breezy driving. It's not mountain driving at all. And we've had clients say, man, it looks like I've got my own private ski resort. There's just hardly ever anybody there because people want to head two hours into Vail and Aspen and Breckenridge and all that sort of thing. Heck, I'll take the local skiing all day long, 40 minutes away, you betcha. And then you also have the newly constructed Palisade Plunge. Uh, this is a real mountain biking mecca here in Grand Junction as well, uh, specifically off there in Fruta on the west end of the valley. They have the Fat Tire Festival every spring. Mountain bikers from all over the world, come check that out. But uh, that starts basically at the top of the Grand Mesa, 10,000 feet, and that'll drop you right into Palisade, hit a couple of brew pubs, the distillery out there. So the lifestyle for outdoor living is why it made the New York Times top 52 places to visit in the entire world. So heck about visiting, just come on in and, and move and relocate and be done with it. So as far as the unique food food culture, we've got it all. We've got Bin 707 right there downtown. Uh, got award-winning chefs. Got Pesh, P-E-C-H-E -E is how they spell it. I think it's called Pesh. I don't know, and that's what I'm going with. It's definitely been uh, highly regarded. New restaurant out there in Palisade. You've got Enzo's Italian restaurant, all kinds of artisan mom and pop restaurants here in Grand Junction. So the food scene, definitely a foodie town. The food culture is certainly something that you're going to want to check out as well when you not just visit, relocate out here as well. Oh, did I mention the second most uh, let me see, how can I say this? The second most concentration of natural arches in the entire country. Yep, Moab, I believe, is number one. And guess what? That's only about an hour down Interstate 70, heading out west. Just go just inside the Colorado Utah border. Hang a left, I forget the highway it's called, but you got Arches National Park right there. But we've got McKinnis Canyon, Rattlesnake Canyon, where those natural arches you can find right right here in Grand Junction, Colorado. So there you go, New York Times. Top 52 places to visit, not in the country, in the entire world. And this is exactly why it hit that list. So you guys, as much as we love doing these videos, We'd love nothing more than to absolutely crush your real estate goals and moving out this way. So that information popping back up below, reach out any way that you know how. Give us a phone call, shoot us a text, send us an email, even send the carrier pigeon. We've got your back days, nights, weekends when heading out here to Grand Junction and these gorgeous surroundings. Until the next video, we'll catch you later.